Does your knife actually get sharper when you sharpen it on finer grit? The short answer is yes. The long answer is yes, but. Will you notice and is it actually worth the time to sharpen to finer grits? Because it does take a lot more time. So let's take a look at the difference in cutting performance between coarse and fine grits. Now the coarse grit edge is sharpened on a 600 grit Atoma diamond stone and stropped on a 30 micron strop and then just touched on a 1 micron diamond strop. I'll get into more of the mechanics on how this coarse grit sharpening works in another video. For the fine grit edge, I progressed from the Atoma 600 into the Sharpal 1200 grit diamond stone, then the Shapton Korimaku 2000, then the Shapton Korimaku 5000 and stropped on a 1 micron diamond strop. Now when we look at the cutting performance on certain items like a free hanging hair, we can easily get hair whittling sharp on certain steels at certain hardness levels with very coarse grit edges. This edge has zero problems whittling this hair. In fact, it's so sharp, it just wants to cut right through it like it's not even there. And I actually had trouble getting it to whittle because it would just simply cut it right in half. Now the fine grit edge was very similar, so sharp it would just pop the hair right in two. And to be honest, I couldn't tell any difference whatsoever between these two edges when it came to hair whittling performance, which was kind of surprising. Now when it comes to paper cutting, I did notice a small difference in the tear out near the surface of the paper between the coarse and fine edges. The difference is very small, but noticeable when viewed up close. Cardboard was also the same here, slightly more tear out near the surface with the coarse grit. One area I saw a bigger difference with was with this Kevlar strapping. Mirror edge. You wanna be careful to not cut yourself when you do this. Coarse grid edge, hair whittling. Not gonna cut ourselves this time. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit harder. It's definitely a little bit harder than the mirror polish. When viewing this up close, you can see that we have a lot more tearing of the individual fibers with the coarse than we do with the fine. I also noticed a difference when it came to a small piece of Dyneema rope. Yeah. Now the Dyneema may not be super evident on the close up and it was one of the only things that I cut where it was very difficult to tell the difference between the two on the close ups. But the Dyneema definitely takes more pressure and sawing motion on the coarse grit than it does with the fine grit. So 
So now the one that everyone has been waiting for. What about tomatoes? Now, this was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. While both edges ultimately didn't have trouble piercing the skin, I have to give the edge to the fine grit. It just seemed to pierce the skin ever so slightly easier than the coarse did. Now I want to be clear, the difference here is practically unnoticeable when you're actually using the knife to cut a tomato. I mean, we are literally splitting hairs here with the difference. So which one of these knives cutting this tomato was the fine and which was the coarse? Now I looked at some other things as well, to name a few, regular nylon rope, leather, fishing line, and zip ties. And I couldn't tell the difference between coarse grit and fine between these items. Everything seemed to cut about the same. If there is a difference, it's smaller than the difference between splitting hairs, literally. So while there is a difference in the level of sharpness on certain items, is it actually worth spending the extra 10 minutes or so to get all the stones out, progress through each grit, and then put everything away, versus a single diamond stone? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. So yes, finer does equal sharper on some things. I did find it interesting that the hair whittling test was actually the easiest test to complete because I cannot see a difference between the two. While other things seem to really rely on the refined cutting edge in order to get a clean cut. For me personally, I think I'll just stick to my relatively coarse grit edges simply due to the time savings when sharpening and the difference being relatively small in the grand scheme of things. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.